Yo, new year, new kicks. Let's get the show started and see what's dropping this week. This is the Heat Check. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And as we always do, this is the only place to come for the release dates of some of your favorite sneakers. Let's start with things that are dropping tomorrow, namely the Nike Air Force One Elevate. Now, this model is dropping in white and black, as you can see. This isn't your everyday normal white and black Air Force One. Nike has added a few updates to the upper end. If you plan on copping these, they drop tomorrow for $100 over at Finish Line. Switching over to the three stripes, they have an Adidas NMD R1 dropping for the women in an ash pink colorway. This is a slightly updated model with prominent on the upper and the STLT moniker. I'm not sure what that stands for, but I think it's just referencing the new pattern on the uh, prominent upper. Those will cost you $170 over at Finish Line as well. Not to be outdone, Finish Line has two pairs of the same sneaker for the men as well. They will be dropping in a core black and a gray colorway, and like the others, those will cost you $170. Also dropping tomorrow is the Nike Air Vapor Max, but this is an updated version of the shoe that Nike is calling the Vapor Max Utility. The new version of the sneaker is a lot more durable than the original, and though it still has fly in it, it has a three quarter high mid cut, and it also has a different lacing system and a cushion foam midsole. If you like the outdoors, but you also like the Nike Air Vapor Max, looks like they have something just for you. Those will cost you $225 on Thursday. Now Friday seems to be going pretty hard when it comes to the basketball shoes, at least from Under Armour's perspective. They are set to drop three pairs of the Curry 4 Low. One colorway is being called Baja, the other is called Grove Green, and then the final colorway is called Merlot. The Curry 4 Low just started getting some buzz over the last couple of weeks, and it looks like Under Armour is really starting to ramp up production on the basketball shoe. Those will cost you $120 over at Finish Line. If you are the type that really likes the Nike Air Force One, but you're also the type that really likes the foam posits, then the Nike Air Force One foam posit might be right up your alley the redesigned classic sneaker adds foam posit technology on the upper of the air force one and it still looks like the style of the foam posit if that makes sense the colorway is being called carbon but it looks a bit like it has an iridescent glow to it to bounce off of that black those will cost you 200 dollars going back to the nike air vapor max fly knit it looks like the women are getting a specific colorway of the shoe called plum fog as far as 2017 goes the nike air vapor max was one of the top ranked sneakers of the year and i'm sure nike has a bunch of plans for the shoe in 2018. You can grab this colorway for $190. Come Saturday, you have a few choices when it comes to sneakers, all three with roots in basketball. First up is the Air Jordan 32 in the MVP colorway. Decorated in a salt and pepper fly knit on the upper, the model also rocks a gray outsole. Adding some accents to the look is a red logo on the tongue, red insoles, and then if you look at the reverse of the tongue, you see the letters MVP there as well. On the more subtle side of the design, the heel has a very light elephant print, all adding up to a salute to 1988, a year in which Jordan won the Most Valuable Player Award. Look for the Air Jordan 32 MVP to cost you $185 on Saturday. Now, if you've recently seen some of the older sneakerheads getting excited about a shoe called the Air More Money, well, it's because the shoe is officially making a comeback this weekend. Called the Air Money, the shoe returns in the Mo Money colorway. One of the crazier designs from the late 90s, the model has been updated to look like a literal piece of money or a dollar bill, depending on how you look at it. The shoe also has a flag on it to show that it's, I guess, US dollars and the money sign on the heel and across the shroud. Those are gonna cost you 160 when they arrive on Saturday. Locking up the drops on Saturday is Nike Basketball's newest release, the Kyrie 4. While I can tell you that there are some really exciting colorways of Kyrie's signature sneaker coming down the pipeline, Nike Basketball is not messing around with this one right here. Based in Dark Obsidian, the model features some accents in black to make a really complete look for the sneaker. Nike Basketball is really making things happen with the Kyrie sneaker and I suggest you get on it as soon as possible. Those will cost you $120. You can grab them Saturday over at Finish Line. So that's going to do it for the show today. As always, guys, I just wanted to cover things that I thought you would be definitely interested in. Make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I mentioned in the video today. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, from 2018 and beyond, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.